to come and reign, to come and move, to come and abide in my situation. Because, Lord, I need you. In times like these, I need you to have your way. If the truth be told, I just need to get out of your way. So come on, Lord, like you do. He still is the great I am. I invite you to remain standing and before we begin our worship experience, I always like to invite you to invite somebody to worship. Even though they physically may not be in the sanctuary right now, that we have some people, amen, that are watching us virtually. So why don't you just gently remind them? Why don't you go on Facebook, tag somebody? Why don't you even just text somebody? that worship has begun. And the people of God said, amen, amen. We are so blessed, amen, to have our young people leading us in worship on this morning. I'm just gonna ask you to thank God in advance for their presence. Let us encourage them. For we are indeed grateful for those in the pulpit and in the choir, as well as our praise team. So McQuest Green will lead us in our call to worship. And Jonah, amen, Brock is going to lead us in our invocation and Jamarian Green, our scripture lesson. Beloved, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. to worship Jesus said let the little children come to me we come each of us as a child of God Jesus said do not stop them we come to remove obstacles before children Jesus said it is so such as these that the reign of God belongs we come to recognize that each child is already part of God's realm. Jesus said, truly, I'll tell you, whoever do, does not receive the reign of God as a little child will never enter it. Together, we, we come, come to, to worship, worship with, with the trust, trust and vulnerability and dependence of a child. child. Come, let, let us worship, worship God. God. Amen. Beloved, please remain standing. And join us in our opening hymn. Yes, I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones, to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Oh, yes. Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, he does. He loves me. Why? For the Bible. Come on. Tells me so. Without further whining, beloved, let us sing. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Oh, yes, Jesus. yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus 
loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Oh, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. He who died, heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sins. us over our journey to St. Paul this morning, Lord. I pray over those who did and did not make it today, Lord. Heal those who are going through something, Lord, and help them to know, Lord, that you are right there with them, Lord, and everything is going to be okay, Lord. Help us to receive the word from Pastor Lover this morning, Lord, and to connect it into our lives, Lord. Help us to know that in times of doubt, Lord, that you will always be there for us, Lord. And let us have a great day today, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. In your holy, precious name we pray. Amen.
Hallelujah. You are worthy. Hallelujah. speak about. For John baptized a water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gather around him and ask him, Lord, are you Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Isaac to Isaac? Israel. He said to them, But you will it is not for you to know the time or the dates 
the Father has set by his own author. But you will receive the power, the time, or the... But you will receive the power and the time when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea, Judea and Samaria, and the, to the end of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud him hid him from sudden the sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going when they sudden two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand in front of here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Glory to the truck. We need to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall. show our young people some love amen amen they are blessing us this morning they have led us in a spirit of excellence and worship and come on let's give some love to our choir our, our young people's choir amen beloved if we have visitors among us we invite you to stand at this time if they're not visitors in the sanctuary Perhaps there are some that are watching us virtually. So come on, let us stand and welcome them. Amen. We welcome you with a heart filled with love. We welcome you with joy from above. And if we had our way, you would be coming here to stay. Oh, you are welcome. Oh, you are welcome. You are so welcome here today. Oh, you are welcome. Oh, you are welcome. Please come again to sing and pray. Oh, you are welcome. Oh, you are welcome. You are so welcome here today. Oh, you are welcome. Oh, you are welcome. Please come again to sing and pray. Indeed, you are welcome. And please worship with us again. Amen. Bless us, choir.
are blessed and highly favored. Just know that we are blessed and highly favored. Ooh. He brought me through hard trials. He brought me through tribulations. Never let a day go by and I realize it had not been for the Lord who was on my side. Back was the king's Lord, looked out for me. He heard my cry and rescued me.
Just know that you are blessed and highly favored. You need to know in your knower of knower that indeed you are blessed and highly favored. It could have been me. <laughs> it it should have been me. If it, if it was not for the blood, because there's still power in the blood of the Lamb, it should have been me. But the Lord put a hedge of protection all around me. Beloved, it's up to you to walk in it. It's up to you to receive it. It's up to you to believe it. In spite of it all, I'm still blessed and highly favored. Jamarion has already lifted up our sermonic text. And if you were here last week, you should have seen. But beloved, in your hearing, I'm going to read verses 9 through 11 of Acts chapter 1. And it reads, After... He said this, he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky. Somebody say sky. As he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Do you stand here? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. And for a little while, beloved, I want us to reflect on this thought. Keep your head. Mm -hmm. Keep your head to the sky. With the help of the Holy Ghost, he'll make it live for you. Keep your head to the sky. Let us pray, O oh, most holy and righteous God. Lord, I stand behind this sacred desk, not taking this preaching moment for granted, but realizing people have just pressed their way into the sanctuary to hear a word from you. So come Holy Spirit, come with your quickening power, speak to my soul, give me a ready ear because it's not by might nor by power, but by 
by my spirit says the Lord of hosts and the people of God in agreement said amen but to the sky for three years in his earthly ministry Jesus had taught and Jesus healed Jesus the miracle worker the storm stopper the water walker the dead raiser the only one who felt virtue leave his body when a woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of his garment while in the middle of a crowd this uh, mercy giving Jesus is now instructing uh, his disciples uh, that he must leave now. No doubt this news is baffling and unsettling. Just 40 days ago, you, you, you were crucified uh, and you died uh, and you rose on the third day. Uh, you are the resurrected Savior. You appeared. You appeared to Mary Magdalene at the empty tomb and she thought perhaps a thief in the night had stolen your body yet you gave Mary victory over her despair. You appear to the two disciples on the road to Emmaus and they could not comprehend your death, let alone your resurrection, let you gave them victory over their confusion. You appeared to the ten disciples who were on lockdown and they were hiding for they were scared straight and they thought they too would be what? Crucified. Yet you gave them victory over their fear. Who, who doubted the resurrection and the brother declared unless I see the nail marks in your hands and put my fingers where the nails were and put my hands into your side I will not believe yet you gave Thomas victory over his doubt you even appeared to Peter, who denied knowing you not once, but at least three times, yet you gave Peter victory over his failure. For 40 days, we've been singing and, and we've been shouting and, and we've been praising and we've been declaring that victory is what? Mine. The victory today is mine. I, you now say that you are leaving. Luke declares in his gospel that while he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up. Um, even gravity uh, has lost its power over Jesus. Jesus has uh, ascended to heaven uh, on a glory cloud. And for a moment, uh, the disciples appeared to be a bit shocked. Perhaps they wondered whether they could follow Jesus. And to Acts chapter 1 verse 10 says they were looking intently up into the sky. As he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Beloved, when people leave us suddenly, 
We are often shocked and, and disappointed and, and most of us are even hurt. Yes, we live in a world full of trouble and personal tragedies. We are surrounded by all of this chaos. Are we even college campuses across the nation are in conflict over the war between Israel and Hamas. Issues of bigotry and human rights uh, have tended to explode live in a world profoundly broken by violence uh, and even by the harm that we verbally inflict on one another. Today is National Blue Sunday. It's a day of prayer for our abused children and these trauma that we experience as a child. It has a tendency to even linger into our adulthood. Perhaps one could even argue that Jesus' ministry seemed like a failure. After all, Jesus led a movement that resulted in his death. And now the brother's checking out, going back to his disciples behind. But can I tell you this morning that Jesus' departure does not mean that, that Jesus and my brothers and sisters, it definitely does not mean that Jesus has abandoned you, nor has he abandoned me. Because regardless of what is going to happen in our lives, regardless of what is happening in our world, God knows there's a lot of things happening in our lives, in our world right now. But as believers in control and that he has not abandoned us nor forsaken us. Can I tell you, beloved, uh, that Jesus went to heaven for us? <laughs> you better let that sink in for a moment uh, that Jesus, uh, he went back to heaven uh, for us. Uh, and Brother Gene, I know I got to press my claim. Uh, so the Bible says uh, in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 1 uh, that now the main point of what we are saying is this. That we do have such a high priest who sat down at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven and who serves in the sanctuary, the, the true tabernacle set up by the Lord, not by a mere human being. You still ain't with me that Jesus went to heaven uh-huh, for us, because beloved Jesus, he now ministers in the greater and more perfect tabernacle. And this tabernacle was not made by man's hand. In other words, Jesus, he's in heaven. He's in the presence of a holy God. And he's not twilling his thumbs. Jesus is praying for us Jesus he went to heaven for us therefore beloved we gotta keep our eyes fixed on Jesus who sat down at the right hand of the throne of God oh I hear you you saying uh, what's my point well I'm glad you asked because Jesus, he is seated at the right hand. He, he is seated at God's right hand. Get, get it, get it. He is seated at what? God. 
God's right hand, are you ready? He's far above all human ego. He's far above all human authority. He's far above all demons. He's far above all imps. Jesus, he is sitting at the right hand of God the Father and he's standing in the gap. He's interceding for us. He's woo, fixed on Jesus. And Jesus promises to what? Come again. I mean, he's coming uh, soon and what? Uh, very soon. And when he comes, he's going to take full uh, control of our world. I'm talking about the world that's now filled with trouble and filled with strife. That he's going to come back in a twinkling of an eye and he's going to take control. Jesus, he went to heaven. For us. Well, Pastor, what, what do we do in the meantime? And, and then between time. Can I tell you uh, that we must continue to trust uh, Jesus uh, that even when we don't understand, even when we don't understand Jesus' ways, even when we don't understand why all this calamity uh, is happening, even when we find it difficult uh, to comprehend uh, that we still must trust uh, and believe that God is still in control that I trust in God, that I know he cares for me on mountain bleak, on the stormy sea, the billows roll, he keeps my what soul, my heavenly father, he watches over me. Jesus went to heaven for us yes Jesus he ascended into heaven but Jesus is still our high priest <laughs> oh that's some good news that, that he's still our high priest so so in times of loneliness in times of what desperation when life uh, has become so abusive and when nobody seems to care when i have more questions than answers then the word of god says that we can come boldly before the throne of grace knowing that we have an advocate he's in heaven but guess what he walked our road he felt our pain he knows what we are going through but our heavenly father he still watches over you Beloved, uh, whose story does not end in death. <laughs> Come on, Holy Ghost, uh, help me. We have a Savior whose story does not end even in rising from the dead. But can I tell you uh, that Jesus' story continues in glory with God the Father? Come on, in heaven. Oh, you're not with me. Come on, watch this. Salvation means more than having our sins forgiven and receiving eternal life. Salvation also means that we can live on this earth in Christ's power today in the midst 
of all of the world's trouble because he came that I may have life and have it more abundantly. So beloved, Jesus' ascension, it matters. Well, Brian Tab in his article on the ascension, he sums it up, and I'm going to quote him. Number one, he says, remember. Remember that Jesus is presently reigning as king and remains active and engaged in our world and our lives. Number two, therefore, live boldly, confidently, and strategically as servants of the exalted king of heaven. Know that your labors in the Lord Jesus are not in vain. Then the brother says, number three, if you are suffering, take heart that Jesus is not indifferent to your struggle, that he has endured great suffering and is thus the most merciful and sympathetic counselor and mediator. He says, take your cares to your ascended Lord who hears your prayers and can respond with all heaven's authority. And finally, number four, he says, hope. Hope in a glorious future. The ascended Lord will return as judge and king. He will abolish injustice and set up his kingdom of truth, righteousness, and love. Best of all, we will be with our king forever end of quote Jesus he went to heaven for us uh -huh. to the sky in the 1970s earth wind and fire their bands he wrote a popular and inspiring song, Keep Your Head. The essential message is to keep pushing and to keep persevering through the struggles of life. In other words, uh, stay strong and to keep your dreams and your hope alive. The song stresses the importance of looking towards the heavens and holding on to a higher power during life's difficult moments. Well, beloved, uh, can I tell you uh, that this higher power, uh, that his name is Jesus, that he's Emmanuel, meaning God is with us, that he's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, that he's wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. He's alpha and omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. You better keep your head to the sky because I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my head because all of my help it comes from the Lord you better keep your head to the sky because if we take our eyes 
off ourselves and place our eyes on Jesus. What we thought was a problem will become our our stumbling block will become our stepping stone. What we thought was our defeat go head to the sky. So regardless of what is happening in our lives and in our community, even in the world, and in you keep your head to the sky don't walk around with your head hung down keep your head to the sky surely 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 the clouds are gonna tell you why keep your head to the sky jesus says that he will return on the power and great glory but in the meantime in between time keep your head However the Lord leads you to the sky. Perhaps there's one under my voice. And you're struggling. Oh, for an answer. Hey, Jesus. Hey. Oh, yes, he did. He said if I, I did up, come on, from the earth. I'll draw, I'll draw in, all in, draw all in unto me. Hey, the master, for an answer, if I get up, come on, from the earth.
Help me live, Jesus. Help me live, Jesus. Help me live, Jesus. The door of the church is still open, Help beloved. Will there be another? Help me Don't let Jesus. Satan get in your ear. Help Come on, you need Jesus. Jesus in your life. Help me Lord, Jesus. help me. Help me. Help, help me, me lift Jesus. Jesus. Help me lift Jesus. Higher. She has already accepted Christ as her Savior. Amen. And do know that St. Paul is a place that welcomes you with open arms. Amen. And we'll do our best to nurture you, not only in the faith, but just in life in general. So we praise God for you. Amen. And do know you are welcome in this place. Amen. Jakendre, amen. Scott, amen, and he wants to be baptized. Oh, come on, you ain't got to celebrate. The angels in heaven are throwing a party for you because you didn't gave your life to Christ. Oh, don't get it twisted. You ain't got to clap because the angels are rejoicing right now. So we're going to pray a prayer of salvation. Amen. We're going to work out that baptism. I ain't going to make you wait, baby, until next Easter in 2025. We're we going to work it out in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Say, Lord, come into my heart. You died just for me. Lord, I know that you have forgiven my sins lord i know you are raised from the dead lord i know you went to heaven just for me now give me holy ghost give me power to live for you in jesus name amen amen glory glory hallelujah Hallelujah! Hallelujah! In Jesus' name. And the people of God said amen, amen, and amen. You may return to your seats, uh, and uh, Reverend Pam will be following up with you. Amen. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory. I feel better. 
something with our young Amen. people. Amen. And as adults, let us govern ourselves accordingly. Yes. Yes. Beloved, what time is it? It's giving time. Beloved, what time is it? It's giving time. It's giving time. It's time to bless the Lord in the ministry of giving. I invite you to stand at this time. And let us repeat our giving verse together. Beloved, let us read. God, God supplies seed, seed to the planter. planter. He, he supplies bread for food. God will also supply and increase the amount of your seed. He will increase the results of your good works. You will be made rich in every way. Then you can always give freely. We will take your many gifts to the people who need them. And they will give thanks to God. Beloved, I invite you to app as well as Givelify. We strongly encourage you to use Zelle if your bank supports Zelle, for there is no fee. If you would like to mail it in, it's 706 East Patton Avenue, Montgomery, Alabama, 36111. Or we have a locked mailbox in which you can drop your offering in. Beloved, please let us give. Follow the directions of the ushers. This is real, I know the Lord is real to me. Jesus is real, I know the Lord is real to me.
things come of thee, O Lord. All things come of thee, O Lord. And of thine own. And of thine own. Ages 60 plus need a break from your routine and want to meet new people? Well, St. Paul Senior Center is seeking more in-person participants to join in with the excitement Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 12 noon. There is arts and crafts, appropriate exercises and field trips. Van pickup is available. For more information, please contact Eldra Marcus at 334-334. 421-9066 or the church at 334-286-8577. St. Paul helps spread the word. Mark your calendars. Official board meeting will be held Tuesday, April the 30th at 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. The agenda and Zoom information will be emailed. Calling all St. Paul graduates, yes, St. Paul High School, College, and graduate level program graduates. Please contact Sister Pat Patterson, co-chair of Christian Education, with your graduating information by May 26. Send your information to pjpat at bellsouth.net. Since July 2016, God has blessed Bishop Harry L. Seawright to serve as the presiding prelate and the Reverend Sherita Moon Seawright to serve as their society. In the 9th District of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, which covers the entire state of Alabama. In celebration of their dedicated service, the 9th Episcopal District is hosting an evening of celebration. This district gala will take place on Friday, June 14th, 2024 at 6 p.m. The location is the Marriott Hotel in Prattville, Alabama. Please contact Presiding Elder Jacqueline Denson to secure your tickets. Save the date! Plans are underway for the 2024 Vacation Bible School, June 19th. the 21st from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. with classes for the entire family. The culminating celebration will be the Family Fun Day held at Gateway Park the morning of June 22nd. These events are sponsored by the Christian Education and Men's Ministry. More fun-filled information is forthcoming. Team St. Paul from May 16th returning June 16th Pastor Lover will take the second half of her clergy renewal leave. This leave allows Pastor Lover to step away from the persistent obligations of daily pastoring life and engage in a period of renewal and reflection. Times of intentional exploration and reflection for drinking again from God's life-giving waters for regaining enthusiasm and creativity for ministry. St. Paul welcomes Reverend John Leonard as our visiting pastor, and he brings over 36 years of pastoral experience. All pertinent contact information will be available in the membership reference guide to be distributed on May 12th. Weekly reminders, please join the men's prayer call each Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. St. Paul youth, if you want to grow in your faith, learn more about God and have fun, then come to Paul at 9.15 a.m. A light breakfast is served. Hybrid Sunday School is held each Sunday at 9 a.m. You may participate in person or via teleconference. St. Paul, please keep our sick and shut in and our church family in prayer and be sure to join the 12 noon prayer call. If you need van pickup on Sunday morning, please contact Brother William Rolak at 334-531-0658 on Saturday evening. Be sure to leave your name, your address, and a return call number. Ministry leaders, if you have any announcements, please contact Brother Dwight Martin, 7 to 10 days prior to the event. 
This concludes today's announcements. For more information on any events or happenings, be sure to follow us on Facebook, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out the church. Have a blessed week. Other thing, the date escapes me, but just know in July we are going back to Kickback Ranch. Amen. Uh-huh. And we're going to have a hallelujah good time like we did last year. And for all of those who don't like the heat, we got the room again. Amen. Uh-huh. But this time we're going to have a little bit more fun. I might let y'all have a dance contest or something. Who knows? A little karaoke. Lighten up a little bit. Don't be a heavyweight in the Lord. Amen. And the people of God said, amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Oh, praise him. Praise him, all creatures near below. the hills from which cometh my help knowing that all of my help comes from the Lord keep your head to the sky and may the Lord bless and keep you may the Lord allow his face his countenance his favor to shine upon each and every one of you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord give you his peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Today, tomorrow, and forevermore. And the people of God's song. Amen. Amen. Amen.